Wow. Wow. It could possibly finally go down. The fight the fans have been clamoring for. Or are they? Were they? Are they clamoring for this fight? Is it a massive fight? That is Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis. Now we know just yesterday, Jerron Boots Ennis, he signed with Matrum, Matrum CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and the zone. And Eddie Hearn, he had this to say. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Jerron Boots Ennis, the newly crowned IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is 31 wins, no loss, no draw, 28 big wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch armies. He signed a massive lucrative deal with one Eddie Hearn, the zone, and Matchroom. And Eddie Hearn says that this is a fighter he's been courting for years. He's recognized the talent and the skill set of Jerron Boots Ennis. Jerron Boots Ennis, he recently got out his deal, two deals to be exact. He was exclusively signed to Showtime, Showtime President Sports, Steven Espinosa. They got out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years, abruptly, just shockingly. And then his longtime promoter and manager and Cameron Duncan transitioned all in the same matter of months, in the same time span, right? Which left Jerron Boots Ennis without a home, homeless, and lost. He didn't have a network to fight on, and he didn't have a promoter. He then got out the promotional deal because it trickled down, right? It got passed down, and it was inherited by his family that didn't know, allegedly, what they were doing which was now boxing. He got out that deal and he signed a massive lucrative deal. Now there's another fighter in Terrence Bud Crawford, who's a network promotional free agent. And this is a fight that has been linked to the two. Okay. Many people have been talking about this fight. And now since Terrence Crawford finally, finally, finally settled his business with Errol the True Spence Jr. in July and got that fight out the way, well, now people start to want to see this fight because the similarities they have. A, everybody has been comparing the two. A lot of similarities. They both switched from South Florida Orthodox. But Terrence Crawford is a vet. Terrence Crawford is 37 years of age in September. He's currently 36. Terrence Crawford is 40 wins, no loss, no draw, 31 wins by way of knockout. He's five foot eight with a 74 inch armies. And he has knocked out or stopped the last 11 opponents of his career. Did y'all hear what I just said? The last 11 opponents. But they both switched from Southport to Orthodox. They both have extremely long arms and they both athletic with a lot of power. So people want to see this fight, especially how shockingly Terrence Crawford dominated Earl the True Spence Jr. Dropped him in the second round twice in the seventh and stopped him in the ninth. So with that said, the fight never came to fruition. Jerron Ennis was the WBO number two challenger and he could have by default, been the number one and petitioned to be the mandatory for Terrence Crawford, but he opted to go the direction of be, being the mandatory challenger for Errol Spence in the IBF. And we know how that played out. Errol Spence lost to Terrence Crawford. The IBF stripped Terrence Crawford, who inherited Jerron Ennis as his mandatory through Errol Spence. He had, that being Terrence Crawford, an immediate rematch clause that he had to honor with Errol Spence. Then that fell through, but nonetheless, Jerron Boots was, Ennis was elevated. Jerron Ennis yesterday stated when asked about Terrence Crawford's a fight he would love to make. Terrence Crawford said, I will make that fight in a heartbeat. But somebody got to pull up the moolah, the money. So guess what Eddie Hearn just said? I'm willing to put up the massive amount of money to sign Terrence Crawford and to make that fight happen. Wow, wow, wow. That's what we've been waiting for, right? So Terrence Crawford is looking for opponent. Now, we know Terrence Crawford petitioned to move to 154 and become a four-division world champion and fight the winner of Tim Zhu, Sebastian Fondora, which was Sebastian Fondora, right? But Sebastian Fondora don't want to fight him, and he's on the verge of being stripped of his WBO title. Now, get this. Jerron Boots in it said he'll go to 154 and fight Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, which makes this more interesting. 
because Terrence Crawford has Sebastian Fenora stripped of the title, and then Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford fight for the vacant WBO title. Hmm. Now, Eddie Hearn said he's willing to put up the money, and Terrence Crawford and his team said they're willing to make it happen if the money is put up. Now, we know Eddie Hearn. He has what? A pipeline to his excellency, Turkey Alice Sheik, who has endless amounts of money and is willing to put up the money for the fight. Uh-oh. Can we get Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis? Turkey Alice Sheik be willing to put up the money for that fight? It's a massive fight. We already heard that Terrence Crawford has the back in the Turkey Alice Sheik for uh, Israel Madrimal fight. This would be even bigger. So let me know what y'all think about this. Who y'all think wins this fight? And will it come to fruition? That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.